What's up YouTube? My name is Laura Cruz, cruising onto your screen. So today, I am doing my makeup for Halloween. I thought this could be a Laura Tries It series, so I'm going to try and attempt this Chena slash Tiger Halloween makeup. So here is the image. And yeah, I'm gonna attempt it. Hope you guys enjoy watching. Let's see how this turns out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm gonna start off with the NYX Total Drop Control Foundation. Oh, okay, that's really dripping. Oh no, where's my Beauty Blender? Oh no, oh no no. Oxidizes real bad. So I'm just gonna put. Oh! <laughs> Nearly took out my eyeball then. I'm just gonna blend this out. So I look alive again. Then I'm going to grab my Starlet powder. I'm going to set my face. That is all done. We're gonna do my brows. So she has really defined brows. That's what I'm going to try. brushed my eyelid just in that really hurt. So I'm using the NYX Tame and Frame. Oh, I did not mean to put that much on. I'm actually joking. I'm gonna grab that Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer again, but in the shade up, so the shade 10. to start being the half parts the eyes and then all the makeup and everything but first we're just going to lighten the, the upper brown bone brown bone brow bone we have just some the the is it bitter the bitter start of the Zoeva palette and I'm just gonna grab this white shade here and I'm just going to set that concealer and just lighten it up a bit because I just feel like it's going off a little bit too orange looking and I'm going to start with Transition Shade, which is Substitute for Love from the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette again. I'm just going to use that in here and just blend it from my outer corner through my crease out. And this is just going to blend out from the blacks that I'm going to be using. I'm going to grab the darker shade from the Cocoa Blend Palette, which is beans are white. I'm just going to get this in to the crease and I'm going to make this a really clean cut line. I'm going to already clean it up because it's just getting out of hand, the shape and all. I'm just going to grab some concealer and just line that out for now. So I'm just going to use this kind of thinner brush to go in with the black. So I'm using the Lorac Pro palette, if I can get it open, <laughs> and I'm using the shades Indigo and Caviar, which is the two darker shades there. Translucent shade and blend that out. Wow, it's very defined. <laughs> At the moment, I've come to scunch, and I don't know if I like it yet. Don't know if I like it yet, so I'm just gonna wing it out.
there's one with wing arm on it and now we're going to try somehow to make the other one like that. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. You're about even. So I'm not happy with the blending of the eyeshadow but that's just going to have to do. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to do the really hard bits which is carving up the extra part of I put the white eyeliner on. But I don't think my white eyeliner blend is very good so... <laughs> I'm just going to carve it out. Oh, well done, Laura. Already messed up. This is the essence one, so hopefully this one works as well. have this done I think the white looks more cat like that's why I did the white I think it does look more cat like doesn't it so I haven't done the lid yet so I'm going to use the um, pure garnish um, shade which is a really glittery uh, really glittery really glittery really glittery gold shade Part the spots. I'm very nervous for this because <laughs> my eyeliners are being annoying. I'm going to use some of this metallic lipstick by NYX Cosmetics. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll see. So I'm just using the NYX Cosmetics metallic lipstick in the shade bronze and I'm just drawing these C shaped spots and then outlining them with a black eyeliner. And I'm just going to repeat this several times, creating different shapes, different sizes, and this took me forever. So I'm just going to keep repeating this, and oh, here's an arrow. You guys asked for more an arrow? Here she is. <laughs> then I decided to grab that gold eyeshadow that I used on the lid and set all of the lipsticks. And this just related the spots to the eyeshadow and also made them shine a bit brighter than what they were with the metallic lipstick by itself. I'm a nose quickly, like a little rub up on my nose and just filling it in with black eyeliner. I'm then just adding some dots onto my upper lip and then I'm going to connect my nose to my upper lip as well, which would then be outlined and then I'll start doing the other side. Then I wanted my face to be really carved out so I went full on all in with the Mineral Glow Sun Goddess Bronzer and just went to town, just went all out with this one. Then I started doing the whiskers, which I just lightly brushed on. These don't really need to be exact because I feel like it looks a bit more realistic when they're just brushed on with a bit of eyeliner. And then I started outlining the top line of my lip just to connect it to the nose really. I then went and got the NYX Cosmetics lipstick again and just filled in where there was just plain lips and blended in the black with the metallic bronze shade. I then finished the look off with some mascara and that is the finished look. 
that is all I have for you guys today. I know, I'm in a different location. Guess what, where I am in the comments. <laughs> when I originally filmed this video, I didn't have time to actually film an outro. So otherwise, I would not have gone to the Halloween party. So now I'm filming my outro now. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that I can annoy the heck out of you every Monday. Hopefully I can cruise onto your screen this time next week. Catch up. Just fix up my eyes. No battery. Please charge. No. <laughs> Just spilt my foundation everywhere. Cool. That's real cute. So that is all I have for you guys today. Stop filming me. <laughs> so that is all I have for you guys today. Oh, I just got a notification. One second. <laughs> Not every Monday. What is now? Commitment. <laughs> Commitment.